Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here's information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actual program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. Um, if you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's the problem for today for exam IFM, Investments in Financial Markets. Several months ago, an investor sold 100 units of a one-year European call option on a non-dividend paying stock. She immediately delta hedged the commitment with shares of the stock, but has not ever rebalanced her portfolio. She now decides to close out all positions. You are given the following information. The risk free interest rate is constant. And we have stock price, call option price, put option price, and call option delta several months ago, $40, $8.88, $163, and call option delta 0.794. We don't have call option delta right now, but we have now the stock price of 50, call option price 14.42, and put option price 0.26. The put option in the table above is a European option on the same stock with the same strike price and expiration date as the call option. Calculate her profit, the investor's profit. And here's the solution. Let the starting date several months ago be zero, let the current date be T. Delta hedging at time zero means that the investor's cash position at time zero was 100 times C of Z of C of zero, I'm sorry, minus delta C times S of zero, and that um, C of zero is the value of the call, and delta sub C, so delta of the call um, times the price of the stock, delta sub C is the number of shares of stock that will be used for the hedging, and of course it um, has a minus sign because we'll short the stock uh, to hedge the long position implied by the call. And what is not uh, used to um, buy, uh, to short, I'm sorry, the, the stock, um, will be the cash position, so because we replicate the call with cash and stock. After closing out all positions at time t, the investor's profit is 100 times C of 0 minus delta sub C times S of 0, accumulated with interest, uh, to e, uh, so multiplied by e to the rt, minus now the hedged position value um, uh, at the end, um, so C of t minus delta sub c times S of t. That's the same number of shares, so no changes. Um, and in this calculation of this, we don't know the accumulation factor e to the rt. But we use the put call parity twice, note that t is the time of actually ex option expiration in this calculation, to write that c of 0 minus p of 0 is s of 0 minus k times e to the minus rt. And c of t minus p of t is equal to s of t minus k times e to the minus uh, r times capital T minus t. So this is put call parity at time 0 and at time uh, little t. Uh, well then, um, uh, e to the rt, um, implied by this, needs to be equal to um, s of t minus uh, c of t uh, plus p of t, um, that from the, uh, that expression, from the second equation is actually equal to um, uh, k times e to the minus r, capital T minus t. And if we write the same type of expression, s of 0 minus c of 0 plus p of t, then from the first uh, put call parity, and that's actually equal to k e to the minus rt. 
If we divide them by each other, we just get uh, uh, e to the rt. So e to the rt is equal to that expression, which is 50 minus 14.42 plus 0.26 over 40 minus 8.88 plus 1.63, and that's approximately 1.09435111. And then the investor's profit is uh, the expression that we had here um, with e to the rt substitu substituted by the value that we just calculated for it, and everything else is given in the problem, so we just plug them in. Um, and we get uh, 24.13, which is answer B. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.